Hey guys, today I want to talk about this. What is it? This mysterious ball surrounded by revolving metal bands in the opening credits is called an astrolabe or another sphere. We also see this at the end of season 6 when Sam arrives at the citadel. So, what is the significance of this astrolabe? What if someone make this and place it in a place like the citadel? Well, I believe the symbol right here holds the key to unlock the secrets of this mysterious astrolabe. This symbol is called the Eye of Medicine Man and was first introduced in my last video as one of the symbols that was given to powerful green seers like Blood Raven and Bran Stark. Brother! In Native American culture, a medicine man was believed to have magical powers of seeing into the future. Medicine men are spiritual leaders of Native American tribes. They prepare and lead important sacred ceremonies and rituals, and they keep many sacred objects in their medicine bag. One of those sacred objects is Star Chart Astrology Map, and this is where it gets really interesting. This is Pawnee Tribe Star Chart Astrology Map. It clearly depicts recognizable constellation patterns. Native Americans believe that stars were deities who once lived on Earth and then were transformed into stars at death. So Star Chart has the stories of deities, their lives, and how their fates were intertwined. And the job of medicine men was to recall stories, myths, and legends relating to heavens by looking at this star chart astrology map. Why do they recall stories? That is because Native Americans do not have Western style of writing system. They communicated their history, thoughts, ideas, and dreams from generation to generation through symbols and signs. And they recorded and recall stories using pictograms and ideograms. Medicine men told stories and taught history by looking at a thing like star chart astrology map because their role was an educator, historian, and the keeper of myths, legends, tradition, and tribal wisdom. Now, if this picture is the star chart astrology map of Native Americans, what you see now is Game of Thrones version of star chart astrology map. Astrolabe is a model of objects in the sky, including the Earth and the Sun. Its main purpose is to map the constellations, just like Native American astrology map. But what's strange is, Game of Thrones astrolabe does not show constellations. Instead, it tells stories, and it does it by itself. What's stranger is, it tells stories of quite recent events, from the perspective of us, the show fans and book readers, though it seems this astrolabe was made a long, long time ago. There are bands on the astrolabe that surround the sun, and there are three close-ups of those bands in the opening credits that tell stories that we fans have heard about, but never seen on Game of Thrones TV show. The first close-up of the band is Dragon Attacking Westeros which is the story of Aegon's conquest. The second close-up shows different houses in Westeros getting together to defeat the dragon, which can be translated into Robert's Rebellion. And the last close-up shows animals like a lion bowing to a stag, which is the story of usurper Robert Baratheon taking over the Iron Throne. So this is almost like telling stories with pictograms. Maybe the first men who lived during the Age of Heroes believed kings were deities and they became stars at death, like Native Americans did. So the first men carved the stories of kings onto the astrolabe using pictograms because back then they did not have the writing system that Westeros now does. This kind of makes sense because in A Song of Ice and Fire, the first written records are said to have appeared after Ando's arrival to the continent, 
which is about four to six thousand years ago, but the citadel was built during the age of heroes, that is about six to eight thousand years before Aegon's conquest. So back then, it is possible people used pictograms instead of letters to record things, like the parietal art made by the children of the forest that we've seen in season seven. We saw John was able to tell stories to Daenerys by looking at the cave art, like Mattis men recall stories by looking at the star chart astrology map. So pictograms could have been the means of recording for the first man. But the thing is, the astrolabe was made during the age of heroes. But why does this astrolabe have the record of future events? How did someone from the age of heroes know what was going to happen some 8,000 years later? How could that be possible? Well, my answer is, whoever built the citadel and this astrolabe must have had the same power that Blood Raven and Bran do, the power to time travel and see into the future, or most likely, the first screen seer ever, a very powerful one to whom George has given the Eye of Medicine Man symbol. And I think that Green Seer is Piomor Hightower, aka Piomor the Twisted, because Piomor Hightower is generally considered to be the founder of the Citadel and is also believed to be the founder of the Order of Maesters. He was a sickly boy born with a withered arm and twisted back, so he was bedridden for much of his life, which means he was probably unable to walk like Bran Stark. Bran is the second son of Ness Stark. Piamor was the second son of King Uther of the Hightower. So, although there's not much known about Piamor, we see some similarities between Bran Stark and Piamor Hightower. I also see some connection between Piamor and Blood Raven. Blood Raven first appeared to Bran in a dream as a raven with a third eye full of terrible knowledge. Piamor had this insatiable thirst for knowledge. He devoted himself to intellectual pursuits and surrounded himself with various scholars, like wise men, teachers, priests, wizards, and alchemists, and he enjoyed hearing them debate. So he must have had this tremendous amount of knowledge in many fields. And this got me thinking, maybe the third eye of the raven, which is full of terrible knowledge that appears in Bran's dream, is the eye of Piamor the Twisted. Not physically his, but I'm saying, maybe Piamor taught Blood Raven to be Three-Eyed Raven, and all of Piamor's knowledge was downloaded on Blood Raven or something, which makes Piamor the first Three-Eyed Raven, or it could be that. The three eyes of Three-Eyed Raven represent three most powerful green seers that Westeros has ever had. And the three most powerful green seers, in my opinion, are Bran Stark, Blood Raven, and Piamor Hightower, with the third eye of knowledge of the Raven being the only clue that George has left us with. And isn't it odd that all three of them have blood of King? Piamor is the son of King Uther, Blood Raven is the best son of King Aegon the Fourth, and Starks in old days ruled as kings of winter before Aegon's conquest. So in a sense, Bran has blood of king. Maybe Melisandre is right. There is power in a king's blood. And I also found it interesting that Piamor's father is King Uther. I think the name Uther is from Arthur, which is George himself. Uther was married to Maris, George is married to Paris. So their wives' names rhyme. So if George is one of the characters in A Song of Ice and Fire, I think he could have been King Uther of the High Tower. Well, that was just for fun, but who knows. Dragon has three heads. Raven has three eyes. I think Piamor the Twisted is one of the three three-eyed ravens. He was a powerful green seer who saw the future and left a record of it on the astrolabe when he built the citadel. And I'm sure what's going to happen in Season 8 has already been written on one of those bands of the astrolabe in pictograms. And it can be shown at the end of the show, when all things are said and done. I don't know, I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Do you think Piermore was a green seer? And what do you guys think of the astrolabe in the Citadel? 
please let me know what you think about this in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be back for more. Thanks for watching. Bye!